Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have a mail day. Yeah, some mail and some just to show off. But we're going to be showcasing what the first Kickstarter for Akora got you. Um, and we're also going to be doing the giveaway from the last video and announcing the winners. So let's do that first. All right, time to pick the giveaway winners. So we have 10 winners. You can't win twice though, unfortunately, but good luck to everybody. I hope you win. I hope you get the card that you want. Let's go, first winner. Who is it? Adius Goldson, congrats. Next one. Angel, congrats, bro. Immortal God, shout out to you. I know you. Congrats. You want a Rogier? You got a Rogier. Mos ah, Motua. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Moku. He wants a Moku. You can have a Moku. James Tripp. Congrats. He wants a Rogier. You got a Rogier, bro. Tony F, congrats. He wants that kuzu. Vince Tran, Ottawa collector. My number one supporter. What does he want? Rose Dragon, nah, you can't have that. Kuzu, you can have the kuzu. I'll give you a kuzu. Congrats, Vince. Aaron Torres, congrats, bro. Roger, everyone, I'm not going to have any Rogers left, man. Everyone wants a Roger. Oh, Aaron Torres again, we'll rerun that. You can't win twice, bro. Adonaz, congrats. Another Roger. Sick. Following a pattern, everyone wants a Roger. I pulled all the Rogers. I think we've got two more giveaways to go. Dini, congrats, bro. Kuzu. Kuzu and Roger, so far, last winner, Blasterpiece, congrats. She loves the Rose Dragons, but you're going to have to pick something else, that's mine. <laughs> so that's the 10 winners, I'm going to, well you can actually contact me on Instagram or Discord um, with your name and address and I will post it out to you. So yeah, congrats guys. So we have an array of cards here. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful to look at. Some holographics, some packs. You're probably wondering what, what is everything? What are, what are these things? So we're gonna go for the first everything uh, that was produced by Akora. And this is the first print prototype pack. Absolutely stunning. Considering this was handmade, hand sealed, I'm pretty sure. You can see at the bottom. I'm pretty sure this is where Exion put the first print prototype cards um, into this pack. And then stuck a, a nice little Akora sticker on top. Beautiful. Only 15 of these were ever produced. And there's only three left sealed in existence. I paid a hefty fee for this, but for me, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it because it's a piece of history that you're never really going to be able to get for a reasonable price ever again. And, you know, it popped up for a decent price and I, I purchased it. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to Trading Card Bra, who has a video where he opens two of these packs. So you can see exactly what you get inside of those ones. We're going to move on to the next pack, which was ever produced. And there's only 50 of these, maybe even, I think about 49 produced of these. Also hand sealed, as you can see on the top. I really love this art style. It's really retro on these packs. Action did hint that it might be revived as a box stopper. So you never know. And what's exactly inside of this pack? So I have some cards from an open pack right here. We got the Seraph Zeru. We got Zeru. A Magna Takina. Takina, Jinru Kuzu, Kami Kuzu, 
regular kuzu akehane and ake so those are the basically guaranteed cards you're gonna get inside of the pack um you get 10 cards that's only nine the one card that you get extra on top of that it's random it could be totally something different uh, or it could be another duplicate of one of the cards that are already here so that's what's inside of this pack how many packs are left sealed of this i, I have no clue but i'm pretty sure half of these have been open so you could say the population is probably around 25 very rare stuff 25 of this about three in the world left of this as rare prototype stuff goes it's yeah it is rare when you compare it to other trading card games where like maelstrom i think has about 3,000 of their sample packs for each edition and that's a lot and the packs are going for hundreds and hundreds of uh, dollars i think if not thousands i'm not exactly sure but this stuff isn't necessarily well documented and i think it needs more attention because everyone loves samples right i mean everyone's going crazy for akora samples and akora japanese promo packs but this is where the real stuff is this is the og rare stuff that was you know first ever produced then the second obviously you have the samples that have come out now which they're beautiful they're stunning don't get me wrong but these og you can't beat those and then we move on to some of the things that you get as a, a reward for the first ever akora kickstarter which raised seven thousand pounds i'm not sure exactly how many backers uh, backed it um might have been 40 no i think it might have been 75 something like that it's not not many quite low um hence why this is quite low pop there's only there's only 50 of these produced not many backers um for the overall play like um kickstarter and so that's why the population of this is particularly low this was i think about four months prior to this one coming out something like that most people open their packs the one guy left three of his seals and sold them to random people so i got lucky enough to purchase from one of those lovely individuals if we move on to what you got from the first kickstarter this senko ken that is styled if we can pick it up it's signed on the back stunning it's a hollow i'm pretty sure this was the first reward that you would get lovely then we have the sleeping dragon the infamous the one that one everybody wants stunning so there was a there was these were the sort of two tier first two tier pledges you get you know either of these and then it moved upwards where you'd get these included in your bundle these lovely full lots and i've got these signed myself they didn't come signed i got them signed myself then we have the most expensive card from the lot probably the slabbed sleeping dragon signed by Exion. absolutely beautiful now this is expensive for two reasons it's slabbed and signed and has the date of when the kickstarter i think might have started or ended one of the two and um it's obviously got a hand cut label Exion cut all these labels by hand and glued the slabs together you know so it just makes it that much better but it's not just that it's it's actually an error card which is why it's worth more if you look at the back same with the tequina from our binder this is um, a misspelling it says action instead of a core in japanese and this obviously says a core on it so this is just a regular version and this is a misprint beautiful absolutely stunning card so that's sort of the history of you know the product releases the first pack to ever come out the second pack to come out and you've seen some of the cards in here if you want to see some of the cards in this one as i said you can go to trading cards bros video which i'll leave in the description um and then we have some of these as the rewards as well so hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe and peace